In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn these boring screenshots into really awesome dynamic screenshots using Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got your screenshot on the timeline, as you can see at the moment, there's no animation, nothing's happening. It's just a little bit boring. So we're going to change that. So the first thing that we need to do is go into effects and search for basic 3D. That should be in the perspective folder. You just want to drop that onto your screenshot. And then from here, you can see in basic 3D on the left, we've got swivel, tilt and distance to image. So we first just want to begin by increasing the swivel. So you can see you can animate this way. So I'm just going to bring this closer to the screen like this. And then you can see we've also got tilt. So you can add a little bit of tilt onto this as well. Now, because we've done that, you're just going to have to increase the scale to get rid of this background here. So we'll increase the scale. And as you can see, that's instantly so much better. Of course, though, we do want to animate this over time. So we're going to animate it to animate down. And then we'll also animate the tilt and the swivel as well at the same time. So we'll go to the very beginning. We'll create a brand new keyframe on position, scale, swivel and tilt. Then we'll go roughly towards the end. We'll go a few frames before the end. And from here, we just want to pull the tilt up a little bit. We'll change the swivel. So we'll come round to around here. And then we can animate the position to come down over time. So go back to the beginning, pull the position up and then come down over time. So at the moment, this is what we have, which looks pretty good. Of course, though, if it's not dynamic enough for you, then you can always go ahead and change the scale as well. So we'll increase the scale. We'll move the position to match that. We can add more swivel onto this to make this look even more different. And then we'll go back to the very beginning and play this back. And you can see that instantly looks so much more dynamic. Now, because we animated these second keyframes almost towards the end, it suddenly stops at the end. So we don't want that. So we're just going to select all of those keyframes at the end and move those to the very end. So now this is just going to animate and then end of the clip. So that looks really awesome. But at the moment, it still looks a little bit flat. So we're going to go ahead and create some blur to create some fake bokeh on this. So we'll go project tab, new item, new adjustment layer, and we'll press OK on this adjustment layer. Then you want to drop that onto video layer two. We'll zoom out to 50%. And you just want to go ahead and draw a mask using the free draw bezier tool around this middle part of the frame. So I'm just going to create this mask here. We'll zoom out. And then you really want to make sure that you select inverted and pull your mask feather all the way up to around 500. Now we'll go into effects, search for blur. B L U R. And you can go ahead and select the compound blur, directional blur, Gaussian blur, or you can do the fast blur, but I'm going to select Gaussian blur in this example. And then we'll increase this up to roughly 50% or so. And then select repeat edge pixels. As you can see, we've got this black border without. When we select that, that black border disappears. Of course, you can increase the blurriness if you like, or you can decrease the blurriness, or you could also pull the mask feathering down so that you haven't got this transition over time. You can also pull the opacity of this down if you wanted to make this more subtle. It's completely up to you. But let's play that back. And at the moment, that looks really cool. And there you go. That is how I animate screenshots to make them less boring and a little bit more dynamic. It's a really interesting and really easy way of adding just a bit of character into your screenshots. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.